Welcome to this eGrow Plant Growth Regulator Tips video. Hi, I'm Brian Whipker, Professor of Floriculture at North Carolina State University. In this video, we will highlight an experiment we conducted that explored the use of daisite as a pre-plant liner soak. So let's get started. First, I would like to thank Fine Americas for providing research support which made this video possible. For commercial greenhouse production, deminizide, which goes by the trade names B9 or Dayzide, is only applied as a foliar spray. It has excellent foliar absorption by the plants. Because deminizide is tied up by the substrate, it is not used as a drench. I had assumed that Dayzide did not have any root uptake. A call from a hydroponic grower changed my perception about the root activity of deminizide. He said that it was being added to fertilizer solutions to produce compact plants. With deminizide having root activity, but with the substrate binding it, that limits the possibility of its use. One area where it might work would be as a pre-plant liner soak. The roots are at the outside of the plug and would easily come in contact with the PGR. So our objective was to test the suitability of daisyed liner soaks for controlling plant growth. In our experiment, we used both petunia and marigold plugs. The plugs were irrigated, then allowed to dry down to the point of requiring another irrigation. That occurred 24 hours later. The plugs were then soaked for five minutes in the PGR solution. The solution came halfway up the height of the plug during the soaking process. The Dayside soaked solution concentrations used were 0, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, or 20,000 parts per million. After soaking, the plugs were held for one hour before being transplanted into 5-inch pots containing Fafford 1P. Plants were then evaluated at bloom. Here are the results. For Potunia Plus Pinkalicious, Concentrations between 5,000 and 10,000 provided suitable control. Higher concentrations of 15 to 20,000 parts per million were excessive and stunted plant growth. Dayside also controlled growth of marigolds. Concentrations between 5,000 and 15,000 provided adequate control. In conclusion, let's summarize the results of our experiment. Dayside adheres to and is inactivated by substrate contact, which makes drench applications impractical. Pre-plant liner soaks offer direct contact of divinizide with the root system and can be used to control plant growth. This presentation provides an update on an experimental trial. Dayside is currently not labeled for use as a pre-plant liner soak. If labeled, Deminizide liner soaks may be an alternative for northern growers where a moderate degree of control is desired. For southern growers, Paclobutrazole liner soaks would be more practical and 3x more cost effective. 